Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 8. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Transition Inspector, which allows you to preview and customize transitions and save your favorites for quick access. Let me show you how to use it in ScreenFlow 8. First, I'll add a transition to this clip. I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to right click. I can choose any one of these, but since it's at the end of the clip, I'm going to choose Add Ending Transition. The first way to access the Transition Inspector if I hover my cursor over the transition, you'll see this little gear icon appears. I can click this. I can access all of the transitions. And at the very top here, I can choose this one, Show Transition Inspector. That'll open up the Transition Inspector window. But the easier way to access the Transition Inspector is simply double click on any transition and it'll open up that Transition Inspector window. All of the transitions available in ScreenFlow are located on this left side here. Just click on one and you'll see the properties for each transition over here on the right side. Some of the transitions do not have customizable properties such as cross dissolve and you'll see this message no configurable properties for this transition. You can change the duration or how long a transition is by double clicking in this box here and typing in a number. You can do the exact same thing. If you see that little line right there, you can drag that and this is changing the duration of that transition. And what makes the transition inspector so great is that you can preview all of the transitions quickly. So you can just click on them, you can click the preview button, and it'll show you exactly what they do. You can change the properties over here on the right side, and you can just go through these one by one. And if a transition does not have customizable properties, you can select it, go back to your clip, and just preview it by hitting the space bar. And if you want to change it, just double click on it, you can go back to previewing all of the different transitions. And if you customize a transition and get it just the way you want, and you want to save it as a favorite, just hover over the transition, look in the upper left corner for that star, and click it. When it's yellow, that means that it's added to your favorites. If you ever want to remove a transition from your favorites, just simply click the star again. And to view all of your favorites in the groups of transitions, click this button in the bottom left corner to open up this drawer. And now you'll see here, these are all, these are your favorites. These are those transitions built into the operating system. And these are the wipes that ScreenFlow offers. You'll also see when you hover your cursor over any transition and click the gear icon, you'll see your favorite transitions at the top. You get the same if you right click on that transition. Now you can see all the transitions and your favorite transitions at the top. That is how you use the Transition Inspector in ScreenFlow 8. Just hover your cursor over any transition and click on the gear icon or double click on the transition to open up the Transition Inspector. You can go through them one by one, click the preview button. To save a favorite, hover your cursor over the transition and click on the star. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in ScreenFlow 8. Cheers.